Sagittarius 4, a little child learning to walk. It's a delightful experience for us to, to watch a child discovering the great freedom that's involved by learning how to walk. And that feeling of excitement that another being, whether we know them or not, whether they're a friend of the family or, or just our own child or somebody else's stranger's child, you know, it, it's still lovely to see a child learning another skill. Learning to walk is the first, but whatever, as soon as you see somebody as an adult learning how to do something that they haven't been able to do before, there's this feeling of, of oh, yeah, that's good. I really like it. And even on the level of seeing a stranger in a supermarket and saying, oh, no, you don't want to buy that one. Buy that one instead. That one breaks and it costs a lot of money. That one doesn't break. Buy that one instead. You, you know, we, we would offer advice to a stranger. And if they followed our advice, we'd, we'd feel good. Not because we've taken on a position of authority, but because we prefer to think that they're having a good life. There's this custom in, in, in um, Britain, at least, where if you see um, a roadside police truck that, that measures your speed, um, you would flash your lights at a car approaching that speed trap to warn a stranger not to get caught by the police. You think that through, you know. Um, I would say the majority of cars flash their lights, more than half. So more than half of the population are on my side because I'm an ordinary person and that's the police, that's the authority figure that's going to spoil my day unless I'm warned about it. That's interesting because, you know, I mean, surely the police is supposed to represent us all collectively and to sort of make our lives safer. But we're still on the, on the side of the one person, you know, the stranger who's trying to learn something and, 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 and having a hard time whether that's learning how to avoid speed traps or learning how to walk as a baby. We, we, we're kind. We want to help people by offering support and guidance. It's our species nature. And it doesn't end, you know. So <clears throat> when later in life we find challenges continue, and they do, um, we can just ask. We can find someone to ask. And we can be in receipt of support and guidance and helpful words and encouragement also. It's not only the support and guidance, it's the encouragement that's important to, um, to develop our, our potential. And um, this is something that we can rely upon. However, as an adult, it depends upon putting ourselves into a vulnerable position where we ask someone and we ask someone by raising them a little bit they know something that we don't know and we want their support and guidance so we have to take the appropriate attitude of being with them and the appropriate way of, of approaching somebody who can guide you is with a degree of humility a degree of supplication you want something that they can give so it's inappropriate for you to um, ignore the necessary way to do that, which is to be respectful and somewhat humble. Now, I'm speaking as a country dweller. I, I live in the country. And so this phenomenon of being in the company of, of helpful and supportive people, encouragement and so on, this is my everyday normality. But I do remember a time when I was living in a city. And I don't remember having this feeling at that time. So it may be that this particular mystery in life is squeezed out of city life. And if you're living in a city and you don't trust a stranger to ask a stranger for helpful advice, then you want to think carefully about what that's doing to you on a deep level. Because I've seen all the television programs about living in New York City. And, and it's, it's turned into a joke how 
horrendously rude people are there and, and aggressive in, in normal course of events. I myself visited New York City once and I asked a stranger on a subway train to tell me which was the appropriate station to get off and he told me the wrong wrong one on purpose just to give me a bad time. Um, <laughs> I hadn't come across that before. So those of you who live with the expectation of um, having to guard against the meanness of strangers, uh, well, don't blame the strangers. You know, don't blame New York City. Get out. It's the wrong place to be. <laughs> if humanity has been squeezed out of a situation, then that situ situation is, is not helpful to your soul. Your soul cannot do well there. Now, maybe we can find a way within a city to escape this madness and, and hatefulness. But if you can't, then just you know, think about getting out. Um, my whole life took on a, a shine, of, a sparkling shine of spiritual excellence when I moved away from city life and, and so on and, and moved into a quieter way of being where I saw green every, every morning. I see a beautiful green outlook. And when I go for my walks, I, 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 I have to add on about a half an hour for the conversations I'm going to have as I, as I walk. Because whether it's a friend or a stranger I meet, I, I know I'm going to be spending quite a lot of time just yeah, exchanging healthy conversation and making sure that we're all right. And, and they'll always help if I need help. So if you don't have that sense in your life of being supported and guided, and I'm talking about by strangers that you meet on the road, let alone neighbors, let alone friends, let alone your lover or your partner, if you're not receiving support and guidance and encouragement from those people, well, it's wrong. It's wrong because life offers that. And if you want it, it is there to be found. It may be that you haven't developed the confidence, the faith that it is there to be found, but it's worth the risk of asking someone for help. And if you constantly get refused, then really understand this, you're in the wrong place. Move. Do it soon. These are troubled times coming. We need to help each other and to be helped in the times that are coming. And we, we, we have to be able to count upon our neighborhood to be friendly and supportive. 